The week of July 25th, families will begin receiving invitations to register or activate their ParentSquare account. It's important to note that activating your account is not necessary to receive communications from your school. However, by activating your account, you're able to update your contact information, direct message your students' teachers, and engage in other activities in ParentSquare, like registering for events, completing surveys, and filling out forms. If you have an address on file or an email address on file with your campus, you will receive this invitation to your email account. You do not have an email address on file, you'll receive this invitation via text message. If you do not receive an invite by July 30th to register for ParentSquare, we encourage you to reach out to your campus to ensure they have your most up-to-date contact information on file. As you can see, I've received an email to activate my ParentSquare account. This email is going to come from your child's school, so in this case, my school is test school, via ParentSquare. It's important to check your spam or your junk just in case you receive this in one of those folders. You're then gonna click activate your account. When you click activate your account, you'll be brought to the activation or registration landing page. Here you'll be able to modify any spelling of your name as well as set your password. Note that I'm not able to modify my email address at this time, but I will show you how to update that once your account is registered. This password that you'll use is going to be the password you use to log into the browser or into the app for ParentSquare. In the welcome email, you'll also be prompted to download either the iOS app or the Android app for your devices. So we highly encourage you to do that once you register. So once I hit my registration button, I'm then going to be brought in to a contact verification screen. This is going to ask me to do a couple of things. First, it's going to say my name, the campus at which my student attends school, and my contact email. I'll be asked to verify, yes, this is me, and that I see my students listed here. If you have more than one child at HISD, you should see all of your students listed at this screen. If you do not, this means that you might have different contact information listed in our student information system for your child. So again, please reach out to your school to ensure they have the most updated contact information for you on file. I don't have any children at test school, so I'm gonna go ahead and confirm that this is me, and I'm gonna be brought into my landing page in ParentSquare. On this landing page, you'll see all of the posts from your campus, as well as any posts from your child's teachers. I'm gonna show you how to update your contact information and set your language preferences to ensure that you are able to receive communication when you want and how you want. Let's start with our language preferences. On the right-hand screen, you're going to navigate to Manage Account, and you'll be brought to your account landing page. On the left-hand side, you're going to scroll on the menu and click on Language Settings. One thing to note, by default, all families' language settings will be brought in using the home language field in our student information system. When you register your student at HISD, you tell us your home language preference, and we will bring that in to ParentSquare. By default, my preference language right here is English. I can choose from over 108 different languages that will auto-translate material in ParentSquare, including posts and direct messages, so that I'm able to engage fully how I want to engage. I'm going to leave my preferred language as English. However, I can come and update this at any point in time. I'm going to click Save, and now I've updated my preferred language as English. I now want to show you how to update your notification settings. This will allow you to tell your campus or ParentSquare when and how you want to receive notifications. So on your left-hand side, you'll click Notification Setting. You'll see any campuses that your children attend, as well as the Houston Independent School District. Here you'll be able to set if you want to receive no email, an instant notification email, so anytime there is a post or an event, you'll receive an email for that post or event, or a digest. You can do this for each campus, as well as for the district. Digest acts as a newsletter, and by default, all families will have Digest as their selected announcement option. 
This will deliver an email to you between the hours of 6 and 8 p.m. that rolls up all information in all posts from your campus or at the district level. If I have text message enabled, meaning that I have a cell phone number on file, and if I have the app downloaded, I'll be able to change my preference settings here as well. So one last thing I want to show you is your contact information. We know that phone numbers and emails change, and so it'll be important for you to tell us when that contact information has been updated. Contact information by default is automatically synced with our PowerSchool student information system. You can tell us if the contact information needs to be updated by simply clicking edit or add for your contact info. When you edit your email or when you edit or add a phone number, you will be asked to input a verification code so we know that you have in fact changed your email information. Once you edit and submit your contact update, the campus will receive this information and they'll be able to make the updates on their end. So just to recap, all families will be receiving by July 30th an invitation to their email to join ParentSquare. You do not need to activate your account in order to start receiving information from your campus. However, this is very important so that you can update your language settings, update your contact info, and engage fully with the platform. If you don't have an email address on file, you'll receive this via text message. And if you don't receive an invite by July 30th, please reach out to your campus to ensure they have the correct contact information for you on file. We're very excited to engage with you on ParentSquare. Thank you for joining.